Welcome everyone to Clarky's Closet, a podcast. And today we look at a band called Your System. We were extant in the 80s. And we're all extant now. I hope. Hi, everybody. Yes, this podcast's all about your system. And your system was my band. I, well, predominantly my band. I say my band, but I mean, I wrote the majority of the songs. So that made it my band, I guess, but it wasn't really my band. It also belonged to Tony Samperi, a very fine guitar player. Jason Garwood, an equally fine guitar player and a wonderful drummer, my brother Juz. And we did quite well for a, a while there. And I thought I'd play you some of the songs that we released in the course of, I think it was between about 84 and, well, 86, 87, really, by that stage. Uh, Tony was no longer with us. Um, we played three piece for a while. But at the songs you're going to hear were played by all four of us. And they were released uh, mainly 84, 85. So we're going to start off today with the very first song we ever recorded. So that was the first song we ever recorded, and we uh, there was a slight accident actually. I seem to remember where we um, what happened was unfortunately somehow the very intro to that song was uh, was completely erased just the very start. That's why you might have noticed that there was a fade in. That was the only way we could get around it. So we did end up using that for our first single. The first single w was actually sort of what we call a double A because we didn't know what to call it. So we called it a double A and this next song was one side and the song after it was the other, the old days of vinyl. And for this song, these two songs, Jazz, my brother, organised a, uh, a an album called Scream. We got on it with a whole bunch of other Australian bands, and it played a lot in college radio, and even people like Bill Wyman made comments on it, and it got to quite a few different people. So that was that was a good start. And also these two songs were, both of them, we're on um, Simon Townsend's Wonderworld. If you remember Simon Townsend's Wonderworld, if you go to markclark.com.au and go to videos, which is on the top left there somewhere, you will, uh, you'll find it if you, you scroll down a bit. 
Actually, interestingly enough, Jason Clare, who is now the Federal Minister for Education, was in, I think, year seven then, and he did one of these covers for us. I'll explain what I mean by that. They did this story because rather than having a standard cover for the single, I bought 500 blank single, cup, uh, you know, inserts, what do you call them? Whatever you, the cover, whatever the thing is that you put those, those records in. And I said to the kids at school, here's the information for the back and draw whatever you want on the front. So we had the same two songs, including, well, well, that's the next two, Evening Blues and Shelter. They were the two songs that got on this Scream album, but also got on Simon Townsend's Wonderworld because of these different covers. He picked it up, which was very gracious of him. And so we got a little bit of traction with that. So here they are. I'm going to play you, first of all, I'll play Evening Blues, which is a song I wrote in about 1982, 1983, when my lady love left me and she was an airline uh, stewardess, hostess. And this is a song about how my love has flown away on a jet plane. And it's all very sad, young love and all that. At home, all alone by the telephone, staring at the evening news. My love, she doesn't know how much I cry. My love is on a night plane, six miles high now. Now, why, why I cry? But don't forget the wise man's news. I take the little bird, give her its freedom, and see if it returns to you. If the bird comes flying on home, then you know it's your horse. But if the morning finds you alone, boy, hit me on the water house. What am I going to do? Cause my love is on the night plane. make light of it of course but young love is a particularly passionate love and you haven't been burned yet and you don't know what it's like to have your heart broken and it's, I think most people out there will be able to understand what I'm talking about losing your love at any stage is a terrible thing but uh, when you're first in love and you haven't been really been in love before you and you lose that love it's a terrible thing and uh, Gabriel my angel flew away Back in about 1984-85, so that's where that song came from. The next song is called Shelter, and that's a particularly happy song, (laughs) a vision of a a nuclear war with uh, planes buzzing around the place and people melting on sidewalks or what have you. Uh, I'll play you that song, and then I'll just give you a little backstory to tell you how the band actually got together and what we were doing before that in the first place. A broken stump of liquid amber light In silhouettes against the blistered sky Beneath the useless sun Above the hopeless streets The tortured clouds were flattered by the trees All the panic on the highway And you must sigh a remissity Radio play. Some favorite planes are heading out. 
Just out of interest, my brother Juz and Tony, who was uh, who were both in the band, as I mentioned before, were both playing in a band called Hoy Poloi, who used to do quite well around the circuit. And some of you might remember them from the uh, from the eighties. Very good band. But then they end up, of course, playing with us. And Jason and I were playing with Shaky Dave and the Knee Tremblers, good musicians. And we used to play in. You might have even seen us if you're old enough to remember down near the. Uh, in the Chinese sector there. What do they call it? Chinatown? That would be right. And near the Haymarket, there's a, a pub called the Covent Garden and people drink drink, and drink and will drink, I assume, outside. But we used to play there every Saturday night for oh, two to three years. We had a, a, great, uh, a great gig there. A few fights, saw a few things. Sydney was pretty wild in those days. A couple of guys got beaten up. One guy put another guy's head through the window and after beating up our guitarist, that was a particularly memorable evening. So it could be, get, get a little bit rough up at Woy Woy, for example, with uh, full schooners hitting the back wall or something like that, the Blues Brothers. But we really had a good time and you know, a good a good tenure. And then we got together and formed your system, as I said before. Anyway, it's just a little bit of backstory. Thought you might be interested in that. Now, also... As I mentioned earlier, and in relation to that, uh, your system was scrubbed at the very, very beginning accidentally. The gentleman who accidentally erased it was uh, most apologetic, and, uh, you know, I I understood that accidents happen, and he was very gracious and said, well, um, since you've been so reasonable about it, because I think in those days in the rock and roll industry there were quite a few rude people, he said, well, in that case, come in and we'll record another song for you free of charge, which I think was a really, really, uh, Zulaika is his surname, a a very good, very, very good uh, producer. First time I'd ever heard a really qual- a real quality microphone in my head, and this song's quite different. This is why I thought I'd play it for you. This is the, the actually I think it probably yeah it was the fourth song that we uh, recorded, but it's quite different to the other ones. And it's called One Shining Light. When it's late in the night, it lies lightly on your forehead, girl. I do, do you? When it's late in your mind, it's like a feather in the forest. Then do you? I do I let the rain come down Well, I thought that I knew Everything us in the galaxy But girl, do I know you When it's late in your mind Is the preacher of the melody And do you, girl, like I do Do you let the rain come down Though I am one And you are one We could still be Yeah. 
John Zalika, as you can hear, an excellent producer, and I thank him for that recording. Still got the uh, two-inch master here, if you're, if you're listening, John. But he did a good job, I thought, on that recording. And I remember talking to Richard Kingsmill years ago. I, I guess he must be around about my vintage or maybe a bit younger. Uh, we talked to him at that time and we got a bit of airplay for this. But, you know, as often happens, you know, nothing happens <laughs> in the music industry. It's very, very, very difficult. Anyway, this next and last song for today... It's a slightly abbreviated show today. I just thought I'd break your system into two parts. We've got uh, the, the the next uh, show will be some more Your System songs on the, the album we recorded a, a little after this in about 85, 86. So this last song was written by my brother and I, Julian and I, Juz, as he's affectionately known, and I wrote this next song. We were laughing about the fact we looked up the Encyclopedia Britannica because there used to be these things called books, and we were noted that Moses had a stammer, which I th- thought was quite interesting. He stammered. And so we thought we'd write a song, uh, which we called Moses Stammered. And at the end of the song, there's a whole lot of nonsense going on, which is partly to do with the fact that my old mum and her brothers were, were very, oh, my God, look at us. That's exactly how my mum's mum used to talk. Harry, tell them to go away. From South End. South End Londoners and so this is a song called have a listen at the end you'll quite like it there's a a bit of a reading from the Bible which you can kind of make out and there's all sorts of nonsense uh, going on on the other channel and in the middle there's a bit of singing or something going on I can't quite quite recall but this is Moses Stammered Moses Stammered think you heard a female voice towards the end of that song you were right 
That was Vanessa Samios, a young lady who was uh, some years younger than I am, and I know that because she was my sister's good friend, and so I grew up with uh, Vanessa. I didn't know she could sing. She's about eight years younger than I am, so my sister, that's how I knew her. Anyway, she got up and sang a rock and roll one night because she's a huge Led Zepp fan, as am I, and it sounded really good. So this was recorded a little bit later, Moses stammered, probably something like 87, and Vanessa started singing with us. And we ended up, after we finished with Your System, we ended up singing with Vanessa in a band called The Bridge, doing Led Zeppelin covers and a few other songs as well. And that was a really good band. But probably won't feature it here, mainly because it's to do with Led Zeppelin and, you know, you you try to capture Led Zeppelin and it's impossible because they were just the best band that's ever existed and I will not hear any arguments about it. Uh, Kamikaze Led Zeppelin fans, eh? Brilliant. They were absolutely brilliant. My my daughter and I, Imogen and I, were talking the other day about how Paige got a lot of flack for doing exactly the same thing Taylor Swift's doing now and I think it's brilliant. She sort of doesn't always put all things on all one album or she brings it out in a certain format uh, but doesn't include one song. I see nothing wrong with that at all. That's what Paige used to do. If you remember, the song remains the same. It's got a celebration day on the, uh, the live uh, video but on the audio you don't get uh, celebration day. You get, I oh, know, so it was the other way around. Yes, uh, since I've been loving you is on the um, the live version video, but not on the audio. Celebration Day is on the audio. So that sort of thing. I know Taylor Swift does, and I've got a lot of respect for Taylor Swift as well. Marvellous woman. Anyway, that's about it for today. Next week, I'll bring to you the next album we recorded, our final album, actually, and uh, some of the songs we recorded on that. Uh, actually, we had a couple of really good people working on that with us, and I'll tell you more about that next week. So until then, goodbye. This has been Mark Clark's Closet Podcast. Next week, we go to Your System 2 with another five songs from Jazz, Jason, Tony, and I. Mark Clark. See you then.